What's up traders? Weekly trade setup. Today is September 5th, 2021 and I'm gonna explain, analyze some of the hottest currency pair that is likely to trade upcoming week. So tomorrow when the new market will open for the next week, what might happen with this currency pair then I'm gonna explain to you so that you can trade it with high probability. Now before I start just a quick disclaimer is that this is my own opinion about the market. At any point the market may go wrong. So if you take this analysis first please do your own analysis at the same time if you take a trade based on this analysis then you must manage your risk so that if the market goes wrong again is the way I analyzed you don't lose a big money with that said let's begin so the first of all is we'll analyze US oil so what happened on the US oil first this is the monthly time frame now look at the first uh, US oil the top what we see here previously US oil has been rejected from this strong level of monthly resistance look at the past here the price rejected from here and then created this big move to the downside even the lowest price possible in the history of US oil and after that what happened that the price started to move up again okay so created an uptrend so on this uptrend if you see that from here let me show you market structure from here the price created this move followed by an impulse another move followed by another impulse now another move so on this move what we see the price exactly rejected from the previous resistance and drop to the downside now after that what we have seen the previous months has created this long week candle so half red body half week now this after this candle what we see that this candle basically closed above this strong level of support why if you see this big movement to the upside with this green candle what you see one candle that is the red this one is not related to the move acted as a strong level of support as a result what do you see from this zone back to back this candle and this candle we see a rejection that means this level can act as a strong level of support with that said we can expect from here first price to move to the upside at least to this level because this level you see this narrow hanging man pattern this is a strong liquidity zone when you see a candle like this you will see the price normally move there to grab liquidity and we might see a break to the upside or again falling back to the downside but at least we can see a move to the upside now going down to the weekly time frame to see what's happening now on the weekly the picture is a bit more clear first of all look at this big bullish engulfer this kind of candle on the weekly can give you a good signal for the buyers so why it is a strong look at this this is a textbook bullish engulfer see the, it has crossed the previous candles low and rejected to the upside and closed completely engulfing this previous candle completely so this is a bullish engulfer at the same time if you see this pattern this uh, red and then there is a dodgy and then red and then rejection to the upside and creating another dodgy this kind of pattern is basically a reversal pattern so this is a textbook reversal in that case we can see next week to rise from here somewhere from here to the upside to this monthly resistance level now taking price to the downside to the daily what we can expect is on the new trading week the price first to come down a little bit retrace to this level from this zone from this this is a strong level of support if the price managed to come to this level we can go for long from here 
with a very good risk to reward ratio to this level so what we will be doing with our student basically we will be watching price action pattern in this zone on the lower time frame to see if the price fall to this level we will take a long trade from here to take this move to the upside and this is our plan on us oil because what you see that us oil already has also created an on the daily time frame an inverted head and shoulder pattern and that is also a confluence that this price likely to go up so this is the plan our plan on us oil now the next currency pair i will be covering is euro aud so let's see euro aud now first let's go to the monthly time frame on the euro aud now on the euro aud if you see the monthly time frame what you see the previous months created this dodgy candle now after this dodgy what we see immediate drop to the downside now look at the bigger picture on the monthly see this all the top of this candle you can find a pattern here now what do you see that on the monthly this kind of pattern that means euro aud basically has reached its top here and then drop from this zone aggressively to the downside now from here we might not see immediately going down because this is the previous month is a dodgy candle and it's a monthly time frame what we might see look at here there is a strong it is approaching a very very strong level of support why it is a strong level of support because there is a dodgy here okay and then there is another dodgy back to back on the right and left side and what we might see that this price is coming down somewhere here and then dropping to the upside touching this one or maybe you know oscillating in between this dodgy candle on the monthly time frame so on the monthly what we might see slowly from here a rise to the upside as it is an established uptrending market for the for now now going down to the weekly time frame what we see that on the weekly is already you see that the, on the weekly the price is approaching this strong level of support now it is still not there but it may not exactly come here we might see somewhere here on the new week crossing this preview this week's low from here or even immediately we can see rise from here to create at least a head and shoulder pattern before creating any reversal pattern as we have seen on the bigger picture on the monthly we might see finally a drop so for now on the weekly we might see this week a rise to the upside now going down to the daily time frame to see what kind of trading opportunity we have now on the daily if you see that this is the level that what we will be waiting to see a price action pattern see look at this one here this is a strong level of support resistance here also resistance here there is a breakout to the upside but still we can consider this is a resistance resistance here and we might see test as a support before moving to the upside now what we will be doing with our student is basically on the lower time frame or on the daily time frame to see a reversal pattern in this zone as soon as we will see any kind of reversal pattern what we will be doing is basically we will be go for long from here with a very good risk to reward ratio to take this move to the upside now if you find value smash the like button now okay so the next pair we will be covering is gold let's see what's happening with the gold now first of all look at the monthly time frame so on the monthly what we have seen that gold has created this dragonfly dodgy now after this kind of candle we expected a drop to the downside okay now but what we are seeing now the gold is in between drop and rise there is the uncertainty let's go down to the the lower time frame to see what's happening now going down to the weekly time frame what we are seeing that after this big pin bar the price is approaching creating a smaller candle now when you see price approach a resistance or support with creating a smaller candle 
is a sign of breakout so with that said we might see a breakout to the outs, uh, upside breakout of the resistance as we are seeing that on the weekly it is creating smaller candle but there is uncertainty as we see that going down to the daily time frame to see what is that uncertainty now look at this daily candle this daily candle has created a weakless candle at the bottom okay with a strong bullish candle so this is a strong bullish candle on the daily now as you know gold is very very fussy what we might see to possible scenario we might see immediately next one dropping creating a head and shoulder pattern and reversing from here or what do we might see that this price is rising up to this the, to this trend line and creating a trend line like this okay touching this one and oscillating in between okay now what is likely to happen or how we will be approaching now as i told you that trading is a game of probability no one can predict the market with 100 percent but what we will be doing as this is an established daily uptrend our bias is to the upside now what we will be doing basically is we'll be waiting for a retest of this level so you see the back to back three daily candle four daily candle it has created a level now if the buyers are controlled what will happen next day or so the price will come here test this level and the buyers will take control and will create a candle like this so something like this with a long week at the bottom body at the top and if we see this kind of candle that means the buyers in control at that point will go for long we need to wait for this kind of pattern otherwise we might see a false breakout on the other hand on the other hand if gold fail to create a new higher high on the daily time frame next week early instead it is creating a lower low or maybe dropping to the downside with a strong bearish candle at that point we will go for short now if you are following me on trading view or youtube i will update you what is likely to happen and i'll let you know how we are trading this instrument another instrument that you will be looking to trade is euro dollar so let's see what's happening with euro dollar now on the euro dollar if you see first monthly time frame what you can see that euro dollar was in a strong downtrend for a couple of months so this month we see a strong drop to the downside this creating this strong bearish engulfer and the the the, the month after what we have seen the buyers try to take control but the, it was very very weak rejection and then as a result what we see another drop to the downside but finally what happened at the end of the month the buyers got some control and pushed the price up as a result early this month what do we see a continuation to the upside price is moving to the upside at this point what we have seen that because there was a momentum from buyer what we see the this week's candle basic this month's candle it could not cross this this uh, candle basically rejected from here to the downside now what we might see let's go down to the weekly time frame to see what might happen now because this is a very very strong level of resistance look at this also there is a gap opening here there is a resistance here resistance a very very strong level what we might see on the next week from here a drop to the downside to the, to test this level as a support because when the price was moving this this resistance broken now we can expect a test as a support before moving to the upside or doing any kind of other directional move now let's go to the daily to see what kind of price action we have now on the daily if you see that it has basically created a, a pin bar on top and this pin bar is rejected from this strong liquidity zone resistance here and also there is a lot of um, there there are historical there is a lot of you know liquidity in this zone and also we can expect a drop from here because this is a strong level of resistance now 
what we can expect on the new week on euro dollar is first the price to go up a little bit and then drop at least to this level why this level if you see that this is basically a strong level of support can act because look at this move all the green candle except this one red candle when you see a candle like this you can expect the price to come here to test this level as a resist as a support before creating another move to the upside or even maybe breaking to the downside so at this point we have a, a move to take to the downside that is what we will be doing early next week we'll be watching price section pattern in this zone with our student to take this move to the downside i sincerely believe that you enjoyed this analysis and you found found value in it if you find value smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel there will be a lot of content that you will i will be releasing almost every day will be helpful to you in your trading thank you see you soon